Glenn, so I know you have not seen Baby Reindeer yet. Well, it's only defamation if he knows that it's not true and does it to hurt her. I wouldn't say that's particularly threatening. <laughs> so I don't know the whole story. I'm going to watch the show. Uh -huh. But it doesn't sound like that's defamation. And then the other thing is, just because just denying it is not good enough. I mean, I hear people denying all kinds of stuff all the time. It's really true. Apologize to me right now! But yeah, I don't think there'd be liability. And also, we, they'd have to prove damages. So mm. the lady that's denying everything, she'd have to show that she got threats or, mm. you know, she got kicked out of her apartment or lost her job or something like that. Or if she's a professional and he talked badly about her performance, her ability to perform, like if she was a lawyer and he, in the show, he, he made her out to be a terrible lawyer or mm. unethical or something, then she might have a defamation case. Would Netflix be liable for saying this is a true story or would it be just him? It's going to depend on what the disclaimer was. So I think that's a really big part of it. But ultimately, it's going to be Netflix because they're the ones with the deepest pockets. I was going to say, that was his first problem. Don't date a lawyer. That's just not a good idea. <laughs> you heard it first from a lawyer. That's right. Don't date us. <laughs>